Hey everyone, it's Ryan Lundquist Appraiser. I want to show you how to make this graph today. This week on my blog, I had some requests for that because I said, would you like a tutorial? People said yes, so here we go. This looks really simple. You think, what's the big deal? But it's actually very powerful because this one line represents seven years worth of sales, all right? And so on this line, we get to see how does sales volume work throughout the year? Or in other words, how does the market normally behave? Okay, this is really powerful because when we start to see a market do something else and we can go, whoa, what we're seeing is abnormal. And so in this market, you can see January and February has you know few sales and then it sort of ramps up. Then about in June, that's typically the peak each year, the average average year, okay? And then there's an uptick in December, okay? And so um, I wanna show you how to make this and I wanna show you how you can compare a few years. I wanna show you how you can have the average, you know, compared to this past year during the pandemic. Um, and then maybe a bonus graph at the very end, all right? I want you to walk away knowing how to do this in your market and how to be that master of data visualization. So. This is really simple, actually. Okay, so line up January through December in column one. Notice I left cell A1 blank, and then decide how many years you want to compare. I just put 2013 through 2020, and I put the sales volume of each respective month for these years in, in the column. Okay, and so it's very simple. I'm placing my cursor in column you know, or cell A1, and then I'm basically um, dragging this to include everything. And I'm going to go to insert. I'm gonna to go to line, 2D line, and then check this out. So this basically makes a very quick graph of all these years. Now this is really chaotic. Um, I'm not a fan because there's just so much going on here. There's too many years, all right? But I just wanted to show you how easy that was. Now, let me show you the average, okay? And how simple this is. So anytime you do a formula in Excel, you put the equal sign and that shows that there's a formula that's happening and I'm gonna type in average. Now I could type in median if I wanted median. I'm gonna put uh, parentheses and I'm gonna take my mouse and I'm going to click in here and I'm gonna click and drag the data I want Excel to average, okay? So notice it said B2 colon H2. So it signifies, you know, it goes from cell B2 to H2. Now I could have just written that if I wanted to, all right, but I think dragging is easier. I'm going to put a parenthesis there to close it and then look how easy this is. I'm going to push return or enter and it says that there's 304 sales in Placer County when I average all these years. So there's an average of 304 sales in January. Now I did not include 2020 because 2020 is not complete. And when it averages down here, I don't want it to average that, that blankness. And so, um, so anyway, so I want to click in this box for January and you see this little uh, black square. Let me grab that and I'm going to pull it down. And what that what it does is it basically repeats the formula for all of these respective months and so you don't have to manually type in the formula all right now let me grab this again i'm going to grab everything and i'm going to go to insert and i'm going to go to line graph all right and we're going to um, make this pretty and I want to show you how to make a few different visuals very quickly now i think there's too much information on here so i'm going to grab this little blue square and then I'm going to maybe put um, 2018, 19, 20. Let's get a few less years going on here. Now, a quick style, some styling points. Let me double click in here. I'm going to, you know, make the border black. OK, I'm going to make make sure that there's no border on the outside. Um, I'm going to get rid of these grid lines. Let me double click there. No line. All right. And so um, let's make these lines a little prettier. Um, I'm going to right click on this line. I'm going to go to format data series. Um, go going to go to line style. And I'm going to make these a little larger at three. I'm going to go to smooth line. OK, and that'll kind of smooth out the line. And so it won't be so uh, blocky. If you don't like that, then just keep the line as it is. I like the look better when it's less rigid. Um, and I'm going to basically do that for everything. OK. I'm going to go to three, okay, and then I can keep this open, then click on there, and then it highlights that other line, line style. Okay, and then here is the average that I just clicked on. Okay, line style, smooth line. Now, honestly, I think there's still a lot going on in this graph, but the average is too dark. We need to like change these colors. I'm not thrilled about some of these colors, so let me right click there, format data series. 
And let's get a different line, different color going on. Um, you know, maybe orange, maybe that color. Um, can we do something that maybe maybe a lighter blue? Okay, but let's distinguish this one. I'm going to go to glow and go to edges. Um, and so I increase this to four and it's going to make basically the color glow. And so let me see here. I'm going to click that. Um, this is super ugly. I'm just sharing it as an example. But you see how the average is a little bit different now. And honestly, my color is not right. Um, let's actually change one of these colors. Um, we're going to change this to black. If the, if the, be aware of color blindness, first of all, but just be aware of different colors, you know, not, not working right. And so what I want to do is, um, let's see, when I click in the chart area, this, um, I can change um, the years. And so I move this over this, just compare, check this out. Oops. It, Okay, let me not do that. Let me push control Z. Apparently when I move this box over, it deleted my um, uh, my color here and excuse me, my glow. And so if I just wanted to compare last year versus this year, what I can do is I can delete these. I'm going to highlight those. And this shows last year versus, um, you know, the average of seven years. And so um, you can totally see, and let me click in this box. I'm going to truncate the the y-axis okay you never have to start at zero if you don't want and it just shows that in a normal year the market would be going up but check this out we had this huge dip of volume in the pandemic but look what's happened in this market we've seen this extraordinary display of volume okay it looks like buyers are making up for what didn't happen during the pandemic okay and so there's a lot of different stuff you can do um and if i, if I want to add in a few years you know so be it um if i want to take out the average you know I, I can do that but um you know it's just sort of you know it's up to you how you want to visualize this i think you can do some really cool stuff all right now let me show you how to make a different type of graph real quick i highlighted a a through um uh you know i so 2013 through 2020 and basically I'll go to insert, I'm going to go to bar graph and I'm going to go to stacked bar. Okay. And now this is a different type of visualization. Check this out. It's really busy. These can be hard to read depending on the colors. Um, but let me show you sort of, this shows sort of the, the months going on in the years. Um, one thing that I want to do is let me go, I'm going under design and I'm going to click switch column. Okay, and, and so what that did, that switched um, my Y axis to the years. And right here, I have sales volume. Now, I would have to label this, okay? I would have to go to layout, go to chart title, put a title on here, go to access titles, put titles on here. The reader should understand what's going on here. But check this out. Now, there's, there's way too many years here. And so let me grab this, and I'm just going to put 2016 through 2020. And you can kind of see, you know, so far what's going on in the year. Now, let me see here. October, November, and December haven't happened yet. And so let me take this up and then, okay. So it analyzes this year so far, every single month through September. Now you can see it's been a pretty strong year so far. Um, despite the pandemic, it's been pretty in sync with everything else, but check this out. What if I take the summer and I go June, July, August, September? Well, look this is actually a different picture when we look at june through september for each of these respective years you can see something starting to happen now here's june in the blue june was fairly similar so let's take that down but look what happened in july july took off july was much um, greater volume um, in Placer County in 2020, and you could see the same thing in August and September. And so really, we've seen this burst of volume lately. And so this is just a cool way to ver um, visualize the market. And look, you would have to, you know, truncate this, have a click on, you know, the X axis, it's at 2,500. Um, I could probably put it at, you know, 2,200 and stuff. And I mean, there's different ways to stylize this to make it look good again go to layout, put a title on there, put access titles on there, make sure your website's there. But I don't know, I hope this was helpful, okay? And um, I'm just gonna delete that. I hope you um, can do this in your market, uh, master it. Um, I went through kind of quickly, but hope you're walking away with something, okay? Hey, take care and don't forget to like it. Thank you so much for being here.